Drinking tea is often seen as a very English tradition, but for most of history this was not the case. Before tea came to England, it already had a long history in China, where people had been drinking it for over 4,000 years. When tea arrived in English homes in the late 1600s, it was hugely expensive. In the 1690s, the Countess of Argyle paid over £10 for just 6 ounces of tea. That's £26 per pound, at a time when her estate's lawyer earned only £20 a year. Over time, tea became cheaper to buy, and soon it was within reach of the middling classes. Tea was not only fashionable, it was also considered to be good for your health. Thomas Garway, the first man to sell tea in England, claimed the drink was declared to be most wholesome, preserving in perfect health until extreme old age. Tea was also publicised as a healthier alternative to alcohol, which had been the staple drink of the population for centuries. The first ships that brought tea from China took over a year to make the journey, but the English, with their growing obsession with tea, could not wait that long. By the mid-1800s, much faster ships called Clippers raced to be the first to return with the new season's teas, with people taking bets on the winner. Tea was so expensive and taxed so highly in the 1700s that smuggling was rife. Even respectable people bought smuggled tea for their homes. The Reverend James Woodford recorded in his diary that Andrews the smuggler bought me this night about 11 o'clock a bag of hyson tea. He frightened us a little by whistling under the parlour window just as we were going to bed. Household servants were sometimes accused of stealing their employers' used tea leaves to resell in order to make money. Jonas Hamway complained that your maids sometimes dry your leaves and sell them. The industrious nymph who is bent on gain may get a shilling a pound for such tea. The reselling of used tea was possible because for most of its history, tea was sold as loose dried leaves. Tea in England was always accompanied by sugar and many people added milk, although this was something the Chinese had never done. The loose leaf tea was kept locked in caddies or containers in people's homes. Only the family would have the keys to these containers. Tea was far too expensive to trust the servants with, so usually it would be the lady or gentleman of the house who would make and serve it. Hot water would be brought by servants to the room where tea was served. It was then poured into an urn from which the teapot could be filled. At first, tea was drunk after dinner in upper-class homes. It then became common to take tea at breakfast, and in the 1800s the ritual of afternoon tea was created to fill the gap between lunch and dinner. Hosting and attending afternoon tea became an important part of the fashionable woman's social life. When the first tea was imported from China, porcelain teapots and tea bowls arrived with it. In China, tea was drunk out of small bowls without handles, and at first, English people also used tea bowls. The exotic porcelain imported from China was very popular, and demand soon outstripped supply. It was not long before European manufacturers started trying to copy the Chinese wares. This tea bowl, despite its oriental appearance, was actually made in Worcester in 1758. Early English porcelain could not match the quality of the Chinese imports, and would often crack when the hot water was poured into it. Eventually, European potters mastered the art of porcelain making, and the teacup with a handle was developed in the West. At first, tea bowls and teapots were bought separately, and sets did not always quite match. Eventually, English manufacturers started selling whole tea sets, which included cups, saucers, teapot, and the jug and bowl for the milk and sugar. Tea sets have continued to change over time, often reflecting changing fashions and styles. Today, many English people will drink their tea from a mug rather than fine porcelain. Many people don't use a teapot at all, and almost 90% of tea made in England today is brewed using a tea bag. English people now drink an average of three cups per day. That's 74,245 cups in a lifetime. It would seem that tea is more popular today than ever before.